Yes, you read that title correctly. The coolest number in existence is actually a letter, E. Unlike most letters in algebra, E is not a variable, but a constant. The constant value E is roughly equal to 2.71828. That seems somewhat arbitrary, but just like the constant pi, the number E is actually very intentional. So what is E? In proper terms, E is the only number n such that the sum of k n's is a fixed r, and the product of k n's is a maximum given this fixed r. If that sentence sounds familiar, you may have heard it in my video on all of trigonometry explained in five minutes. And if it's confusing, then don't worry, I'll go into it in more detail right now. First, let's start with just a regular whole number, 20. If I asked you to pick two positive integers that add up to 20 to make the largest product possible, what would you select? Well, first consider that I'm not asking for unique positive integers. They could be the same if you'd like. You may notice that 20 times 0 equals 0, and that's when the two numbers are as far away as possible. Okay, what if they're as close together as possible? 10 times 10 equals 100. Can we get a product larger than 100? Well, there's 11 unique scenarios where the first number is an integer that ranges from 10 to 20, and the second number is just the number that you add to the first number to make the sum 20. Here's what all of those look like. And since multiplication is commutative, we don't need to consider the scenario where the first number is an integer ranging from 0 to 9, since that would just be a duplicate of something we already considered. So very clearly, the answer we were looking to answer our question is 10 and 10. There's more to talk about regarding that answer, but I find it really cool that if you take any square, like 10 squared for example, and then spread each of the components in 10 by 1, giving you 11 and 9, you get a result that's one less than the square at 99. And then doing that one more time gives you 12 times 8, which is 96, which is 4 off from 100. And then it's 9 off from 100, and then 16, and then 25, and then 36, and so on and so forth. In other words, the way you decompose a square is by breaking off squares until you get zero. I don't know, I always thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, we see that the result is 10 and 10, which are as close together as possible. I don't exactly have a formal proof to show you for this, but given a fixed sum of some number of terms, the maximum product is achieved when all the parts of the sum are as close together as possible. If I took the same example where we have numbers that sum up to 20, but I permitted you to use four numbers, which would you pick? Personally, my money would be on 5, 5, 5, and 5. 5 to the power of 4 is equal to 625, which is the maximum product of four positive integers that sum to 20. Now, here's the tough question. What if I let you use any number of positive integers? Sure, you'd want to use as many of the same number as you can, but clearly 20 ones isn't going to work because that product would just be one, which isn't very large. I'll give you the chance to pause the video to try to answer this question now. Welcome back from your pause. If you didn't pause, you either know the answer already, in which case, congratulations, or you didn't want to give it a try. That's okay, by the way, since science has been able to prove that the exciting part of a puzzle isn't actually solving it, but rather discovering what the solution is. So, you got your wish, here's the solution. You start by subdividing the large number into as many threes as you can, until the remaining sum is 2, 3, or 4. So in the case of 20, we split that into 6 threes, and then we have 2 left over. So then we take the product of 3 to the power of 6, multiplied by 2, which is 1458. This is the maximum product we can get for any number of positive integers that sum to 20. However, it is not the maximum product we can get for any number of positive numbers that sum to 20. So here's a question for you. Which naturally occurring number is really close to 3 and 2, and in fact in between those two numbers, but closer to 3? Look at that! The number e is closer to 3 than it is to 2 and in between those two numbers. That's pretty cool. So, we instead need to break 20 down into an equal number of e's. I promised that we would talk about E, and here we are. That's right, if we take 20 divided by E, we get approximately 7.35758882342344. And sure enough, E to the power of 7.35758882344 is roughly equal to 1568.051, 
which is much larger than 1,458. E is the optimization number. E is the number that you multiply by an arbitrary number of times to yield a maximum product given a fixed sum. E is the value used for continuously compounded interest. The proportion of your cash on hand at any given time that should be put towards risky ends where the expected value is greater than zero just happens to be one divided by E, which is roughly 36.8%. E is a really cool number, huh?